Hi all, welcome to this tutorial on embedded system. In this tutorial, we will be dealing with behavioral description of embedded system. We are going to cover topics, state and transition in UML, types of events in UML, state machine specification in UML, sequence diagram in UML, previous year questions. First of all, we have to look about state and transition in UML. So the basic component of a behavioral description of a system is nothing but the states. So here we have a state A and we have another state B. So we are going from state A to state B. This transition, this is known as the transition and this kind of description is known as the state machine. So here we have states and we have transition. So to trigger such transitions, we need some kind of actions and that kind of actions is known as events. So events are nothing but change from one state to another. So there are three types of events. We have signal event, we have call event, and we have timeout event. Let's look one by one. First of all, we have signal event. Signal event is an asynchronous event or an asynchronous occurrence. We define it an object. So here we have an object, mouse click of x comma y comma button. And just above that, we are labeling signal with two opening tags and two or closing tags between we are giving signal so this is the label signal used to define signal events so here we have a state a and another state b we are going from state a to state b by the mouse click of x comma y comma button so this is a signal event which is described by this object and we have parameters also these parameters pass to the signal receiver so another one is call event. Call event is similar to the procedure call, function call, or the method call in programming languages. So here we have a draw box of height, weight, comma, color. This is to draw a box of height 10 and a width 20. So with color blue. So when we calling that particular function, we are going from a state A to state B. So this is call event. Another one is we have timeout event. In timeout event is based on amount of time. We define it by TM of time value. This time value can be any value that is 10 second or 5 second anything. After exceeding this particular amount of time, we are going from a state to another state. So this is implemented with external timers. So this is called the timeout event. So we have state machine specification in UML. So we talked about behavioral description. To implement it further descriptive manner, we are looking at state machine specification. First of all, let's consider a scenario. I have a mouse and I'm clicking at a specific region in my display. So when I click specific region in my display, I have an option to select menu. After selecting that menu, I have to call that menu. And this is our scenario. I have a display and I have a mouse. I'm clicking a particular region in mouse dis display. And I have to select a menu. After that, I have to call that menu. So here we have a start state and a stop state. Start state is indicated with a fill circle and a stop state is indicated with a fill circle over another unfill circle. So after the start state, I'm clicking in the display. So here we have a function mouse underscore click or find region. So I have a function mouse underscore click. After that clicking, I'm going to, I found a region. So I reached at a state called region found. After that, I have to select the item. So I'm calling which menu, region is equal to which menu. So I'm selecting the menu. So after selecting the menu, I reached at a state called got menu item. I got the menu item. So this is that state. After getting the menu item, I have to call that item. So I'm calling call menu of item. So after calling this, I reached at a state called menu item. So this is what we have done. So after reaching this state, I have to go to the stop state. I have completed all processes. So I reached at stop state. You can have n number of branches or other scenarios. Like instead of finding the menu, I'm going to find object. So I'm calling find underscore object. So I found the object. After finding the object, I have to highlight the object. So I'm calling highlight object ID. So the object is highlighted. You can have n number of branches or other behavioral descriptions can be included in the state machine specification. After all, I'm reaching at the stop state. So this is the state machine specification in UML.
Next, let's consider about the sequence diagram. In sequence diagram, there are three important things you have to consider. First thing is the objects. Here we have dealing with objects. So here we have a mouse object and a display object and a menu object. Also, we have one thing other to consider is here time is growing downwards. Other cases you might see the time is horizontal, but in this sequence diagram, it describes time by vertical. And the two topics are lifeline and focus of control. Lifeline is nothing but this dash lines, which indicates the lifetime of an object. The mouse has a lifetime from here to here, as well as the display also have from here to here. So this is the lifetime of an object indicated by the lifeline. The one is focus of control. The focus of control is this particular region at which the object is currently active or currently present. So this is focus of control. The mouse has a small focus of control because this much of amount of time is needed to invoke the function called mouse click. So considering the last scenario, I'm clicking at a particular point in display. So I'm calling mouse click x comma y comma button. After that display is invoked, the display is active during this much of time that is the focus of control of display. After that, I have to select the menu as well as the call menu. These two are the different methods. So at each time, two menu objects are active. First, we have this menu of object uh, active for this amount of time. After that call menu of I, the menu object will be active for this much of time. So this is sequence diagram of mouse click scenario. So I'm clicking at a specific region and the display is invoked. After that, I have selected a menu for that much amount of time. The focus of control of the menu will be this much. And after that, I'm calling the menu and we have a focus of control of the menu again. And this is, these are nothing but the events. And that's all about sequence diagram. In previous year question, we have a question, describe the sequence diagram of mouse click scenario. It is four marks. It is nothing but the case that we have dealt in the previous slide. It is the same question and it's easy. And here is what we learned. We learned about state and transition in UML, the types of events in UML, state machine specification in UML, and sequence diagram in UML. Thanks for watching.